All right, yeah, you're yeah, welcome back to my channel. I am by name Jack Sachs, and today I'm going to show you what your neighboring nodes are, and of course, how you can properly apply them on any song of your choice. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. All right, if you've not subscribed to the channel, um, just make sure you press the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so that you'll be notified anytime the tutorial drops here in this channel. And to those of you who are still interested in my one on one intensive training course program via Skype, um, you can send a message to the number on the screen. And now, to take us further on our training in this channel, I am going to be teaching you neighboring notes and of course how you can properly use them on songs all right now for instance if key g is my approach note i have a two alternate neighboring notes yes two alternate neighboring notes either diatonically a note above my key g or chromatically semitone below my key g so meaning if i'm going to my key g i can easily move from my a to g or from my f sharp to key g something like this right these are two neighboring notes now to my key g of course i'm playing on the key of c so you can interpret it as plus song or fifth song so meaning if so is my approach note now i can easily move from la to so or fi to so as a neighboring note now how about me having key a or la as an approach note so that technically a note above my la is going to be what t so i can move from t to la or chromatically a semitone below my la is going to be what c which is g sharp so meaning now i can do you understand that so it's going to be sounding like t la z la i can either do t to la or i'll do z to la these are the two neighboring notes to my la now either t to la or z to la right Okay, now, how about me having um, my F or Fa as an approach note? So, on that note now, a note that technically above my Fa is what? So. So, I can now say So Fa. Now, and a semitone below my approach note, which is Fa, is going to be me. Right? Chromatically, a semitone below my Fa is going to be what me. So I can now do me fa. So now something like this. Now, how about me having me as my approach notes? So I can now do fa me, pre me. Right? Now, what if I'm having it as re? So I'm going to play what? Me re. Because that technically a note above my re is me. And a semitone chromatically below my ray is D. So it's going to sound like Mi Re, D Re. Now, how about me having it as Do? So I'll be playing that word Re, Do, Ti, Do. Re, Do, Ti, Do. Now, there is a series of, um, of, of neighboring notes that I played initially, which sounds to be like. Re do ti do. So if I'm going to do, I'll play what re do or ti do. Now if I'm going to re, I'll play what mi re or di re. If I'm going to what me now, I'll play what fa mi or ri mi. Do you understand? Now if I'm going to fa now, what do I play? I'll play either play so fa or me fa. Is that okay? Now, and uh, if I'm going to saw now, what do I play? I'm going to play what? La saw or fi saw. 
Now, if I'm going to my la, what do I play? I'm going to play what? Tila or zila. Now, if I'm going to tea, what do I play? Remember, diatonically. So it's going to be what? Thirty, then thirty. How about me going back to my do again? It's going to be what? Redo, tido. It's as simple as that. Now, straight, I'm going to apply it in, in a song now so that you can actually understand what I mean and how you can actually use it properly. For instance, I'm done with this song. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Now, the goodness of ice. So, so, do. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to first apply it chromatically below the target note, and thereafter I will now do it diatonically above the target note, right? Okay, for instance, this is how I'm going now.
lyric is much in the song, it rendered the song useless. So just know when to actually, choose when to just apply um, these neighboring notes in your songs. It doesn't necessarily mean you must be feeling everywhere, no. That's not it. There are many other techniques that you can be using, right? So just choose and determine where and when to apply it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's what that. This uh, same movement, if your timing in between the song permits, you can even be using the above and the below, right? Both diatonically and chromatically at the same spot. Now, for instance, there is this particular song, What a mighty God we serve, right? What a mighty God we serve. You see, the gap there is much. You can be going up and down the scale of these um, neighboring notes. Now, something like this. Because of the gap, because of the interval I have in between the song. Something like sa 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 mi do la so la so fi so. Can you hear that? La so fi so. I was able to go above and below. Sa 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 mi do mi re mi re di re. Sa 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 fa mi do. So 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 fa mi do so 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 fa mi re do re do ti do. Do you understand? It's as simple as that. Those are your neighboring notes, and of course, I've shown you their applications, ways at which they can be properly used in any song of your own choice. If you find this class interesting, I'd like you to give this class a thumb up likes, make a comment on the comment box, and of course, that will go a long way to encourage me to drop more tutorials in this channel. And for your one-on-one -on -one intensive training course, you are free to reach out to me and we'll see how we'll take it all from there. See you in our next tutorial class.